back of square one. That's how I feel. Because nothing, just nothing's been done. It's been 13 weeks since the Didcot power station in South Oxfordshire collapsed, but today the bodies of three men are still buried here. The search for the bodies was halted on health and safety grounds when contractors reached a 50 metre exclusion zone. The family of one of the men, Chris Huxtable, feel as though they're living in limbo. Well, they just need to get people in to sort this out as soon as possible because we can't keep just leaving three poor men laying there, hard-working men laying there, you know, dead. Where's the dignity there? Chris was just 34 when he was killed at Didcot. He died doing what he enjoyed. Very quiet boy. It's like his father that way. Hard-working boy. Worked all his life. And this is a job he wanted to do because he followed his father. In a statement, RWE Power, who owned the site, said, We understand that the time it is taking to recover these men is deeply distressing for their families. Our absolute priority is to recover their loved ones as quickly and as safely as possible. But just how quickly that will be is unclear. The health and safety executive confirming that they are still waiting for a demolition plan. Until that plan is in place, the pain of families like Chris's looks set to continue. If you don't represent women in politics,